All right, in this uh, tutorial here, we're going to be uh, talking about uh, looping. So we're going to get a little loopy here. But uh, if you didn't know, we're doing some basic uh, programming in Python, but we're kind of focusing on more of uh, more on mathematics. So we can uh, utilize the stuff that we learn and uh, work some of these courses that I've got for you. Um, You'll be easily, you will easily understand calculus by uh, doing this approach, I promise. Anyway, first thing we're going to do is we're going to print out a sequence of numbers. And we're going to use this function here, h of x. This is something that we used uh, earlier. And we'll just continue to use this since it's written in the code. And the domain here that we're going to be using uh, for this particular example, however, we are going to change this up. Um, is 0 to n. So in this particular case, n is 3. And you're going to get uh, 0, 1, and 2 is what's going to actually be plugged in here. And there's a reason why we start with uh, 0. So when it says 3 here, we count over 1, 2, and 3. Okay? Alright, well let's look at the code. And let's see. Well, I've actually got the code written out down here in the bottom. But um, I don't like to do this, but I guess we'll just we'll, we'll run through it. So I went ahead and called define my custom function here uh, as the same as that example that I just showed you and went ahead and called it s of n. Now this that you may uh, that I haven't talked about yet, what this is going to do, it's going to uh, loop through a range of numbers. And if this were a three here, the range is going to be 0, 1, and 2. Okay, so if this is a 3, and you're going to, that would be a 3 in here, the range of 3, you get out the numbers 0, 1, and 2. And so, in other words, I will be assigned 0 for the first one, and then they'll take that i and plug it into the function, and we'll assign that number to y and then we'll print it out. Right. Um, I guess the best thing to do is just run this program so I can show you. And this is extremely useful so of course I wouldn't be showing you something that wasn't extremely useful. How good would that be? Alright, let's see if I can get this thing on the screen down here. Oh man, wasting my time. And of course, I want to get it on the screen. So pull it up. Uh, what's going on here? Okay. We defined our function as s, and let's go to 4. So this would be 0 to 3. And there it is. So we plug 0 in the function, we get negative 1 out, plug 1 in the function. Oh, do you remember what the function was? The function. You know what, let's go into the code here and let's print up here. Now you notice in this white space, we need to get to about right here. Let's go ahead and print the function out. So we'll do that and it's um, h of x so we can remember what this function was and I believe it was just x minus 1. Right. Okay, there we go. Let's save. Let's do this again. Run. Okay. Um, let's actually get the whole thing in there. All right, S of four. There you go. How, how nifty is that? So if you plug zero in, you get negative one out. If you plug one in, get 0 out, you plug 2 in, 2 minus 1 is 1, and 3 minus 1 is 2. Wow, that's amazing. So that's going to be extremely, uh, extremely helpful later on in the story. Should we do any more of these sequence problems? Yeah, I guess we should.